Hello, my name is Travis with Williams Plumbing. Today we're talking about heat load calculations and how you can do a heat load calculation on your house. A heat load calculation is essential to sizing the heating or cooling equipment that you're going to put into your space. If you don't do a proper heat load calculation, you'll wind up guessing at the sizing and oftentimes you're going to install the wrong size equipment and it won't function the way that you want it to. You don't want to waste your money installing the wrong size equipment when you could take a few minutes to do a heat load calculation and have the correct size the first time. In the past, a heat load calculation was done with what's called a manual J. So the manual J is a very long process, but it gets a very accurate sizing of your space. But if you're doing one project, you're not going to want to pay for a whole program to do all of that information. Or you can try this program called CoolCalc, which will help make the process a little bit quicker. CoolCalc is an easy program that's ACCA certified, and it gets you a heat load calculation in a couple quick steps. So if you're going to do a mini split system, you can use this program because it's going to give you the accurate information, but at a way better price. Let's jump in and take a look at how this program works and how you can use it for your space. CoolCalc is a free program, but you do need an account. It's easy to sign in, create an account, and then you can get going on your project. Once you have an account, you can click on Add Project, and you can give your project a name. Today, I'm just gonna name it Test One. Once you've entered the name of your project, you can enter your address. Once you've entered the correct information, click on load type and then you begin the process. We're going to click on block load to do the load calculation for the whole house. You could also do room by room, which we can do next. Once you've clicked on it, it'll ask you when the home was built. If for some reason you don't know when it was built, I've found a, a quick trick. Click on Zillow and you can bring up the address and you can see when this was built. In this case, this house was built in 1995. So type in 1995 and then add the rest of the information that it asks. As you're adding the information, make sure that you're being very specific. The more information that you give it, the better. So take the time to read the drop downs and read the options to answer them correctly so that you get the best information for your space. Once you've added all the information on this screen, click to the next one and keep going. Since 1995, some of this information could have changed. So if your siding isn't brick, make sure that you change it from brick to what you've got. If you have a metal roof instead of asphalt roof, make sure that you click that. This is where this program gets really great. In order to do a proper manual J, you have to measure walls, windows, attic space, insulation, and a lot of things that you may not know. But this program takes into account all of those codes that were required in the year that your home was built. We've entered all the information that we need. Now we've got to trace the house to find the square footage. So you zoom in on the building to where you're comfortable and then start drawing. What we need to do is find the edges of the building and then you can start tracing to get the square footage. If you're doing a whole house, make sure you click all the way on the outside once you've traced it, name the room. And then correct the information if it's wrong. If it's okay, click it, and then it'll take you to the next floor. Since the first floor and the second floor are the same, we're just gonna go ahead and trace it again. Now that we have the square footage down, we can continue with the heat load calculation. Let's go ahead and name this whole house because we're doing a heat load calculation for the entire thing. Once you've named the system, click continue and it'll ask you a few more questions about the system. Be sure to be accurate here because you wanna make sure it knows where your system is gonna be located. If it's in an attic, if it's in a crawl space, or if it's going to be inside of the house. Once you've entered all your information, the program will give you the heat load calculation. 
for cooling and for heating. The program gives you a report and if you'd like you can pay money to have the report printed or you can record the information for cooling load or for heating load and this will make sure that you have sized your project correctly so you can purchase the correct equipment. We've used the program to do a full house load calculation, but what if you wanted to do a room by room calculation? Let's see what that looks like. So we've opened the program and we've named our project, this time with a different address to see what a room by room calculation will look like. We'll click on load type and then go room by room. And then we'll add all the information that we did before, but using this space. Now we'll go through the process again, adding all the information. Again, if you don't know the year that it was built, you can take a quick look on Zillow. This house was built in 1972. Once we've added the information, we click on the tab to continue. Remember, this program takes in consideration the building codes of the year that it was built. Again, this one is 1972. So we're going to click here again so we can go back to the trace function and get some square footage data for our project. Now that we've added the information for our square footage, we can click continue. We're going to name our HVAC system room by room. And then what we want to do in this project is not a whole house, but a ductless system. So we'll click on ductless and then click continue. Since we did a room by room calculation, we've got to buy the report and then we can see all the details that we've entered. We can scroll down and then we can see each room detail so that room by room, we know how to size the heating or air conditioning system that we're going to install. From the information that we entered, room one is going to need 3000 BTUs of cooling and 7000 BTUs of heating. We scroll down and we can see room two and then we can see the living room kitchen area. We've used the program to do a heat load calculation for a whole house load and for a room by room calculation. This program will help you with your project to ensure that you have the properly sized equipment. The next step is installation. And if you need help with that, Williams Plumbing is here to help you install your new heating and cooling system. Thanks for watching.